Hey guys, happy Sunday. I just wanted to take a few minutes to share with you what I am prepping for the week. Um, I sat down kind of with my family and went through our schedule and um, came up with our kind of meal plan for this week. Our kids are out of school um, Monday and Tuesday due to Hurricane Irma um, and potential nasty weather here in Charleston. And I also um, have my husband who's going to be out of town, so my meal prep's a little bit different this week. It might not be as much food because it's just going to be me and I am heading into surgery Friday and won't be able to eat anything on, fr you know, Thursday evening into Friday, so I'm kind of meal prepping for today through Thursday. So it might look a li like a little bit less food than we normally eat, um, but that's the kind of things that I take into mind when I am meal prepping. So what I want to start with um, is just kind of tell you a little bit about what my menu is going to be. So I've made, um, and I'll show you guys all the info all the all the goodies here in a second. I made an egg casserole for me and the kids. I did a separate one, but it's very super simple, um, very similar ingredients, just a few tweaks here and there. Um, that'll be our breakfast for the week. Um, the kids can easily, I'll cut it into pre-portioned servings and set it out in the morning with a couple plates, and they can scoop it up and microwave it in the microwave for 30 seconds twice. Um, and it's super simple and kind of something that easily, easy that they can do on their own. Um, so that's going to be our breakfast. And then for lunch, I made a huge tall salad with some really yummy things in it that I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I just flew in from San Diego from a leadership retreat that I earned through coaching um, late last night. So I am super tired. I didn't get until like 11, didn't get in bed till 1130. And with the time change, I'm exhausted today. So normally Tom and I, we, we were to grilled chicken or roasted some in the oven, but I just bought a rotisserie chicken and Tom picked that for me while I was doing some of my other prep. So we're going to do a huge toss salad um, with some rotisserie chicken on top of it. I got some nice herb goat cheese that we can sprinkle on top using our little pre-portioned container, at least I will, um, pre-portioned container. Um, and that'll be our lunches for the week. Um, and when Tom's traveling, he, he can he's going to kind of handle his stuff where he's going to be. Um, but that'll be my lunch. So I'm perfectly fine having the same thing for breakfast and lunch. And then we switch it up for dinner. A lot of people will have leftovers um, for their lunch the next day, which is perfectly fine too. So just Make sure that if that's your plan, that you make enough in the evening um, for your evening dinners to have have some for lunch in the morning. Um, and then our dinners, we're going to have just some spaghetti sauce that I had in the refrigerator, or I'm sorry, in the freezer that I had made um, a while back. So we're going to defrost that and probably have it over some zoodles. Um, and my kids love zoodles. They love helping to make them. So anything that you can do to get your kids engaged in making the meals will probably make them more likely to eat it. So we'll have that just for one night because that's just enough for one night. Um, I've got some sweet potatoes roasting in the oven with some beets. Um, and I'm going to have those with some steamed broccoli and probably a pork tenderloin for two nights. And then the other night we're going to have egg roll in a bowl, which um, I'll share in this group and also share to my like page as well for those of you that are watching that might not be in... Um, in our app group. So um, let me kind of pan around here and kind of show you guys what I'm doing. So here I have um, this casserole here is getting ready to go in the oven after the sweet potatoes are done at, at 400 degrees. I'm going to drop it to 350. So this has um, some fresh cut up broccoli. So I definitely cheated and just buy the bag broccoli, cut it into smaller pieces. Um, it's got fresh mushrooms, probably a half a cup of fresh mushrooms, a half a cup of fresh broccoli, a little bit of turkey sausage. I love this Jimmy Dean's fully cooked turkey sausage. It makes um, life so much simpler. It's already pre-cooked. All you got, hey, Claudia. Um, it's, it's super easy to use. Um, so I added that to my veggie one. So there's broccoli, half a cup of broccoli, half a cup of mushrooms, probably half a cup of the turkey sausage. I sprinkled a little bit of mozzarella cheese. And this has eight eggs in it. So eight eggs in this one because I will cut it in four portions um, when it comes out of the oven and have that um, for four days of breakfast because I cannot, I will be eating breakfast on um, on Friday for surgery. And this back one here is for the kids. So my kids love mushrooms. So that's probably got a half a cup of mush, fresh mushrooms not cooked, um, probably closer to a cup of the turkey sausage, um, and then probably a half a cup or so of mozzarella cheese, and theirs has probably closer to 10 eggs, because theirs is going to be cut in smaller pieces for them. And again, I'll go ahead and pre-portion it out for them, cut it up, and then just set it out in the morning with a couple plates, and they can take it from there and make it super simple. So these two casseroles will go in the oven at 350 degrees for anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. So just when you kind of shake it, um, shake it and see that the eggs don't kind of jiggle any more than you know that they're done. So over here, I also took two golden beets. Golden beets are a lot easier to use because they're big and they don't mess up your hands. Um, so I used two golden beets that I got locally here at Boone Hall Plantation Farms. Um, they're beautiful. Roasted those with just a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. And those are going to be um, 
you could toss those, you know, for with your with your salad. You could use those as a side dish for dinner, drizzled with a little bit of a nice um, vinegar. I'm going to put ours in our salad. So that's um, two huge golden beets baked at 400 degrees for 40 minutes, tossed with just some. I love them too, Claudia. They're just they're beautiful and they're not as messy as the regular beets. Um, so they're 40 minutes at 400, just with a little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil. And again, if you're just going to have them as a side dish, get a really nice balsamic vinegar, any kind of flavored balsamic vinegar, and just drizzle it over. Um, so one of the tricks I wanted to show you guys also is that I add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to my eggs. It just gives them a really nice flavor um, for the for the casseroles. So just like a couple a couple shakes, not not too much. Um, I always buy the bagged broccoli when I'm in a rush because it's so easy. And the other meal that I was doing is the egg roll in a bowl. So I've got my cabbage already cut up and ready to go. I've got my onion, onion diced and ready to go. And I've also um, love these matchstick shredded um, carrots. I add these to almost everything. I'll add those to my taco meat, my meatloaf, salads. They're just so super simple. And for a busy mom on the go all the time, this is just it's just it's just easier than shredding the carrots myself so these three things are ready to go for my egg roll in a bowl and again i'll share that recipe um, on my like page and also in this group so we'll come over here um, and i'll show you guys a little bit the other thing that i do when i get home from the grocery store is i go ahead and wash my produce so the grapes will go in a bowl in the fridge for an easy snack we've got some nice pears that are in season right now my bananas i even rinse off my bananas because they um, kind of attract uh, fruit flies and some lemons back there and I have some cucumbers cut up for my kids for easy snacks so that's kind of what we've got going on for snacks we've got a couple apples back there in the fruit bin and I use a solution of um, white wine vinegar lemon juice or white vinegar lemon juice and water I think it's two tablespoons of white vinegar one tablespoon of fresh uh, lemon juice and then a cup of water, and that's what I rinse my vegetables and fruit in, just to kind of get all the a lot of the chemicals and a lot of the fruit fly type stuff off of them. So I do that as soon as I get home from the grocery store. Our tossed salad is completely made. I tossed it with some organic spinach and arugula. Um, I tried to buy organic greens because they are one of the more contaminated um, um, vegetables and fruits out there. So we've got some, um, I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but this is one of my favorite things to put in salads. Um, hearts of palm. I got a little can of hearts of palm and added that in there. So just something different. Um, just whatever you like in your salad. So that's ready to go. It's a pretty big container. So me and Tom can dish out our salad in the morning or the night before. Toss some rotisserie chicken that has already been cut up by my lovely husband. And then just put some um, salad dressing or take some salad dressing to work with you. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, for those of you guys that um, may not have seen any of my other videos, is that this is our spinach. And what I've learned is that if you put a paper towel in the container and kind of store it upside down like that, it'll kind of keep them from getting too wilty. So hopefully you guys found that beneficial, but that's kind of what our family is going to be doing this week for our meals. Um, my kids do eat most of the things that I cook. But I do keep some of the Purdue um, fit. Let me show you the, the chicken tenders that I kind of keep on hand for if they if there is something that they don't happen to like. So I like these um, Simply Smart Purdue chicken ones. They're gluten free, not no antibiotics, no artificial um, coloring, just kind of all natural um, chicken tenders. So we use those and have those on hand if the kids happen to not like something that we're cooking. But most of the time they eat everything that we eat. So I think that's it. That's kind of my prep this week. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, but th those are just some of the things that I do, especially on really busy weeks when I don't have a ton of time to prep. So I hope you guys have a super Sunday, and I'll talk to you later.